also checking the new coolant temperature switch. And it's opened or it's closed. So it is working. If we cool it down, it should. So that was really hot water, so that would have turned the fans on. If we let this thing cool down, it should turn back off. Alright, it's still open. Closed, I mean. Switch is closed. Still, still really hot. Have to let it cool down a minute. I got some water here. And let's see if it's cooled down. It has. So, if we drop it back in here, it should open, it should close again. There it goes. Took it a second. So this switch is working. Our old one did not. I did the same test with it. Actually left it in the water, boiling, or with my test leads hooked up with alligator clips. And the my test leads got a little hot, so I did not do this time. Do that this time. I just uh, periodically checked it, and uh, it seems to be working. No idea if it opening at the same exact temperature as the stock one, but um, this one is supposed to be a direct replacement, and it was just a lot cheaper. So I went with that. So let's go install it. All right, you can see the little bypass I did. I'll pull that wire out. All that's doing is jumpering the wire where the switch would be. So we're gonna pull our old switch out and put our new one in. And yes, the noisy chickens are still here. And it's morning, so they are egg singing. And hopefully we don't lose too much coolant. I got the cap still on, so we should have a little bit of a suction on the system. We are gonna probably lose some. We'll have to ready. Just lost a few drips. I don't know where I'll insert the clip, but I tested this one on the stove. It tested good. So I always like testing stuff before I install it, especially something like this. You don't want it to, you know, the thing to overheat before you realize the switch isn't working. Now I cleaned those wires before so they should be good to go. They were kind of corroded. And then don't tighten this thing too much. It should be good. And like I said, I've got a jumper wire here. So I'm gonna do the jumper. There's a boot. That was over that. Let me go grab it. I had taken it off. When I put the jumper wire on, let me go grab it again. I'll put it back on. And those chickens are being a noisy today. And I apologize for that, but this is 
where I've got to work on this thing. Just slip that boot up there. There's no polarity on this. Uh, so just all it does is it um, when you've got your power coming in and then the wire going to the fan and so when this thing heats up it closes contacts and you know jumpers jumper basically jumpers these wires together and powers the fan so we're going to slip this boot back on here that wire right there must be a maybe for a horn there was a horn option for these things this one does not have a horn boot was not up on here before and it is now so that is better than it was before so that should be good and I'll pull this back out I don't need that anymore and so all I gotta do is just put this panel back on here and I'm not gonna film that it goes on just like it came off I've got to do some work and get this uh, broken, this bolt I had to drill off, drill the head off. I'm going to have to get that out before I can put the panel back on. So I'm going to work on that and um, we're going to call this the end of this video. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.